Welcome back inside the Mandarin Oriental Las Vegas for our head coach's edition of Open Court uh, with five men who dedicate their lives to making their NBA teams better pretty much year round. Mike, what is the most obsessive thing you have ever done as a coach? <laughs> I've done a few things. I, I got a, just a little bit OCD in me, just a tiny bit, right? It's called right. organizational skills. I like it. <laughs> organizational right. skills. That's what that's what I talk from. Uh, <laughs> I work for my I work for my he's detailed. And it's it's <laughs> unbelievable. Especially I, defensively. Right. Don't don't be in the wrong spot. <laughs> I, that's why his defenses are so good. I, I obsess over, I'm better though now. And you can ask my boss, Steve Kerr, I'm a lot better. But practice plans. <laughs> you do know about those. <laughs> so I, I don't know why, but just making sure that we're organized as a staff and the whole nine yards down to the second. I think and, I was an assistant for Mike, obviously, in, in, in a, an organized practice plan for an assistant for me. It gives you direction, you know, it, it helps, whatever. It, it takes a little time. You it takes gotta, some time. You got to prepare. But uh, I found it to be something that, that uh, you can be, you know, you can be more supportive. You can do your job better. So how, I'm jumping how, how in. How organized help. are we talking about here, Mike? <laughs> uh, down to if, if there's a drink, I'm better. I, I, I'm better. Keep telling me that. <laughs> How many times have I said that? How many colors did we use in the practice? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it down. Keep it. Uh, so if, if, let's say, for instance, Quinn was going to do this drill. Let's use Jason. <laughs> 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 well, Quinn or Jason, they would know exactly which interns are going to pass the ball, <laughs> which ones are going to screen. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh, they would know the rotation in terms of the players on the drill, when the, the drill would be over. I mean, it's, it, it, gets, it, it got pretty detailed. It's and, efficient, uh, though. It, it's, it, it is. We, we were pretty efficient, and it was boom, 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 boom. But, uh, but you're working on it. it, it like. Yeah, we, we worked at it. We, met, right? we met a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we put some time in the practice plan. <laughs> I think um, what Mike said, practice plans. I, I like to have all of my assistants know exactly what we're doing and when we're doing it and who's in charge of the drill, how many balls we need. Uh, what we're doing, so we're all involved. Because one thing about the players, they know if you're not prepared. Yeah. And if you're not prepared, they lose interest, and they're moving on to the next thing. And the way that the game is played now, you have to be efficient because of all the technology, and, when it, and it's good. The workloads really tell you about the player's body, how they're feeling. So you have to be real efficient in your practice times. You know, when I, when I played, it was – Two a days for the month of October and two and a half hours a day, and then you play at night scrimmage. Now you know you, you try to keep your practices down, you know, 45 minutes to an hour, depending on what time of the, the year it is. So you have to be real organized.